This movie is a brief introduction to the appraisal features of CityCAD. First of all, I'll open the Phases window so you can see that two phases have been created with start and end dates. Click the Appraisal tab and you will see that there are four sub-tabs. We'll start with Costs Values. This allows you to assign costs and values to different elements within the master plan. You can apply costs to individual elements such as blocks, roots or trees, as well as to individual floors and subdivisions. In this case, we'll add a cost to the whole master plan called Cost of Land and set this at a fixed value. You can add individual costs and values to each element or phrase, but it's normally easier to add default values in the Preferences window. You can get to the Appraisal Preferences by using the drop-down menu next to the Preferences button. Here we can add costs and values to each block type or land use, and these will be applied to every block in your model of that type. For example, we'll add a construction cost to every perimeter block of terraced housing. We can set this per residential unit and check that the cost occurs at the start of the element phase. At element phase means the cost will be applied at the start of whatever phase the block belongs to. We can then add a sale value to each residential unit and check that it will be applied at the end of the element phase. If we go back to the Costs Values tab, we can see that these default costs have been applied to the blocks and the sum of all the costs and values is displayed in the top row. Trigger points allows you to add triggers, such as when the number of houses reaches a certain figure. You can then set costs or values to occur at that time. This can be useful when dealing with infrastructure costs, such as road junctions or electrical substations that are triggered by a certain quantity of development. The third tab is the Timing tab, this includes a chart which can show where costs and values occur over time. The green bars indicate values occurring at certain times and the red bars indicate costs. You can click this button to display the cumulative net position of development over time. The fourth tab, Analysis, allows you to break down costs by group, phase or land use. And like the other analysis panels, if you make any changes to the master plan, all of this data is updated automatically. For more information about the appraisal tab, please see the help files which can be accessed from within CityCAD by pressing F1.